everyone, I'm here with my November favorites. Before I do my favorites, I wanted to put this up at the very beginning of the video. So um, the winner of my one year YouTube anniversary never contacted me, it's been three weeks. And so I figured I will just pick a new winner. So um, how I'm going to do my giveaways from now on is I'm not making a separate video announcing the winner because that defeats the point of, in my mind, defeats the point of doing giveaways because my giveaways are for people who watch my videos and who are loyal subscribers. And if I do a whole video that just says, oh, I'm doing a giveaway, and then a video that says, oh, here's the giveaway winner, then people only enter for giveaways and then they unsubscribe as soon as that video goes up. So I'm not doing that anymore. So I'm announcing the giveaway winners within videos. It'll always be at the beginning of them or at the end of them, but um, that's how I'm gonna announce my giveaways winners from now on. I'm not gonna do a separate video. So the new winner is iHeartMusic015 and um, I will link that right here. Is the username that is the new winner of my one year YouTube giveaway. I will give um, you a good week to, um, to email me. <laughs> I'll give you a good week to email me and um, let me know your address and I would love to get that sent out to you as soon as possible. So that's how I'm gonna do it. And now yeah. onto the favorites. So iHeartMusic015, email me um, here on YouTube and let me know what your address is and um, on to my favorites. Thanks guys. Hi everyone, I'm here with my November favorites. This is a month that really did fly by for me. I um, was just really busy. Uh, we go out of town to Bend, Oregon every Thanksgiving. So we were gone all Thanksgiving week. Um, we got sick, we got the stomach bug. Ethan had his second birthday. So it was just a really busy month and it really did go by fast. This is one month I could say just kind of flew by. But it's, it is almost December and I'm so excited because it's Christmas time. I love Christmas. It's one of my favorite holidays. And I'm just really excited because Ethan's at the age where he enjoys opening presents. And so it's kind of fun to, um, you know, watch him get excited about seeing the Christmas tree and the lights and everything. So yeah, it's just really fun time in, in our life with our little guys. So um, I have quite a few favorites. I kind of experimented and played with a different, a lot of different makeup this last month, and I wanted to share with you some of the things I've really been loving. Um, some of them you may have seen as favorites in old videos, and some of them will be brand new favorites. Um, real quick, what's on my uh, eyes. If you want a tutorial for this look, let me know. I kind of was just really inspired by looking out my window and seeing all the beautiful trees with the yellow, orange, and purple color of the leaves changing. So that was kind of my inspiration behind my eye look. And then I just paired it with this really fun, bright reddish pink lip, which is, um, this is the high wattage lipstick. You can get this at Kohl's and it's in number 19 Ace. Absolutely gorgeous. I love it. The formulation is really nice. So that is one of my favorites um, that I'm wearing right now. Uh, the other favorite of course is um, this, these eyeshadows, which are the Makeup Geek eyeshadows, which I am filming that video next. Um, so, you know, it'll probably be up after this video. So there is the Makeup Geek eyeshadow collection video coming up very soon. So if we just kind of jump into what some of my favorites are. The first favorite, we'll just start with some skincare stuff. Um, I think I found my Holy Grail um, makeup wipes. If you've been watching me for a while in my empties video, you know that I've been on the hunt for a good eye makeup remover wipe that doesn't sting or burn my eyes. And I think I found them. They are the... Kirkland Daily Facial Cleansing Towelettes. You can get these at Costco. I love these. They are very saturated, which is what I love. Um, I hate when I get wipes and they're all kind of dried out. So they're very saturated. They're very gentle. They don't irritate my eyes, but they do a really great job at getting off all of my eye makeup and all of my face makeup too. And they are for all skin types and they have chamomile, triple T complex, and vitamin E. So I purchased a big box of these. They each have 15 in them. So, um, I just really love them. I don't remember, I think they're about $30 for a big box of them. So yeah, been loving those. Um, some other things that I've been loving is um, in the middle of this month, there's going to be a video coming up on it. Um, I had the um, wonderful opportunity to be able to try a laser treatment on my skin and it's called the Clear Brilliance Laser Treatment. And a local spa here um, had asked me if I would like to um, get the, the laser treatment done and do a video on it um, and kind of review my thoughts on it and like how my skin reacted the few days after that. So you'll be able to see 
me um, getting the procedure done. Benji filmed it for me, so you'll be able to see them doing the laser on my face as well as kind of how my skin looked for a couple days after that. So I won't talk too much about um, about that procedure because I have a whole other video for it. But um, basically, for the few days after I got it done, I needed to do a really gentle wash on my face and have a really gentle cleanser and moisturizer. So I actually found some new ones from the drugstore that I really love. So the, the wash that I had used was the Neutrogena Naturals Fresh Cleansing Plus Makeup Remover. And I've never tried their Naturals line. I love this. Um, the smell is like kind of a fresh apple smell is kind of how I would describe it, I think. Yeah, definitely an apple smell. And it is, um, it says completely removes makeup and gently cleanses for refreshingly, refreshingly clean skin. There's no harsh chemicals, sulfates, parabens, petrochemicals, dyes, or phthalates. I think that's how you say it. Uh, and the really great thing is, is I can pretty much pronounce every ingredient that's in it. And um, what's really cool is it tells you the ingredients on one side and then on the other side it tells you the source. So like water is of course the first ingredient and the source is purified water. And then there's kind of a big name here and it's from coconut palm kernel derived. And it kind of tells you where um, that particular ingredient is from. So I thought that was really cool. Uh, it is really gentle, smells great, does a great job of removing my makeup, even my eye makeup. So it's really great having a gentle cleanser that not only cleanses your face, but helps remove your eye makeup as well. So I've been absolutely loving this. And then I kind of bought the whole line of it. So I also got the Neutrogena Naturals Multivitamin Nourishing Moisturizer. And this again is the same thing. It has all the ingredients and the source of where they came from. And it is says it won't clog pores, non commodity Comedogenic, allergy tested, breathable, clean feel. It's very lightweight. Uh, I think it it has that same apple scent. So just really clean, fresh, lightweight on the skin. Uh, I don't find that it makes my skin greasy throughout and the I day. I was in the search for a good night cream and I got their multivitamin nourishing night cream. And I love this as well. So it's a really nice thick cream. It has a really nice fresh scent. And I've just been loving this whole Naturals line. Um, something a little different than what I usually use in my skincare. And I just have been really happy with these. So I highly recommend these if you're looking for a good skincare line from the drugstore that's gentle and natural. And yeah, so I've been loving that. Uh, so my other products that I've really been loving are the, I don't know if I've had this in a favorites. It is the Biore Warming Anti-Blackhead Cleanser. It heats and treats, leaves skin clear by targeting blackheads. And this is awesome. It's a salicylic acid acne treatment. So I used this, I used this less this month than I usually do just because of that treatment I got uh, for a good week or two after. You're not supposed to use anything with salicylic acid or benzoyl peroxide. So, um, but I did use it quite a bit at the beginning of the month. It's a really cool feeling because uh, once you have your face wet and you start to massage this into your skin, it's a really nice warming sensation. I find that after I wash my face and then I use this, all of my blackheads, anything that's stuck in my pores is gone. Like my pores are so clean, they're just full of, or clear of blackheads. So I've been loving this, highly recommend it if you haven't tried it already, it's the Biore Warming Anti-Blackhead Cleanser, it's great. So if you have pores and you have a problem with blackheads, this is a really good cleanser for it. Um, I have a ton of skincare stuff. So um, two eye creams I've been loving. So um, this eye cream I got the same place I got my laser treatment done. It was, um, they had a special going and so I picked this up. It's the Lumiere Bio Restorative Eye Cream with PSP Anti-Aging, Swiss Technology. And they said that this is a really popular, a really great eye cream for anti-aging, helps with fine lines. And it comes in a little pump, which is really nice. And I use this more as a night eye cream. I'm not too sure where you can pick this up. I know that I got mine at like a medical spa, so like where they do um, microderm abrasions and laser treatments and stuff. So I'm not too sure where you can get it, but it's the Lumiere Bio Restorative Eye Cream with PSP. So I really love that. Um, the other eye cream I, I have, which I've mentioned in a couple videos that I have, like my Holy Grail eye cream, it's the Hydroxylize Intensive Under Eye Treatment from Hydroxytone. It comes in this big jar. I mean, this is a huge jar for eye cream, and it has half an ounce in it, 
And this one has half an ounce as well. So same amount of product in these. Um, but this one, I just love the texture. It's like a, I don't know, it's not a gel, but it's not like a cream. It's kind of right in the middle of it. And you need the tiniest amount. I've been using this for maybe three, two or three months, and I've hardly made a dent in it. And I use this every single morning. And I find that it makes my makeup go on so nicely under my eyes. I find that it really helps to keep my like concealer from creasing or caking up under my eye. It just really moisturizes it really nicely and uh, just makes my whole makeup go on, makes my eyes look a lot better. So I've been using this, like I said, for about two or three months and I absolutely love what it does for my under eyes. So um, highly recommend that it's Hydroxetone, the Hydrolyze Intensive Under Eye Treatment. It's amazing. Um, and then the last skincare is my Josie Marin Argan Oil. I got this probably about a year ago and I really focus on using this more in the fall winter time when it's a little drier outside, my skin gets a little drier and I just kind of mix this with whatever moisturizer I'm doing. So since this is my nighttime moisturizer, I'll just take some of this and maybe like two or three drops of this, mix it in there and it just really helps to add that moisture back into my skin, helps my skin just look so much more glowy and refreshed and like vibrant, I guess. Um, so I just really love this. The Josie Marin Argan Oil is like my all-time favorite for the fall winter time as far as a moisturizer goes for my skin. Then on to makeup products. I have quite a few of those too. Uh, one of them I'm wearing today, I am getting back into my BB cream kick. So I have used my Estee Lauder double wear off and on throughout this whole month. But the other one that I've been using is the anti-aging BB cream from Hydroxetone. And I first heard about this through Wendy Bentley Blonde. And she said she loved it and I see why. <laughs> it is really, really great at um, covering, evening out your skin tone. Some BB creams I find can be really sheer. This one is actually quite pigmented. That's what I'm wearing today. And it covers, you know, anything and everything. Really evens out my skin tone. I think there's at least three or four shades. Light is the one I have. I have medium as well, but it's too dark for me right now. Light, medium, and dark. And the thing I love about light is this is a perfect, perfect match. It's not one of those that has a gray cast to it. It doesn't make your skin look, you know, ill. And it's nice because there are other shades. So if you are darker skin tone, there's probably a shade that's going to match you. Whereas most of the other BB creams kind of only come in one shade. So if you're deeper skin tone, you're kind of out of luck. But the light one actually is extremely perfect for me. If I was any lighter in skin tone, this might actually be too dark, but I love it. It does have, um, if you can see, let me see if I can, there you go. See, it is quite pigmented in color. So yeah. like I said, if I was any lighter than I am now, it probably would be too dark. Um, but this is light. I love it. It says, um, on the back, that it hydrates, de-ages, protects, brightens, and perfects skin in just one step. This is one that I definitely would say that I don't need a primer and I don't need concealer because this kind of evens out my skin tone, makes it so I don't need a concealer, and doesn't get greasy on me throughout the day and doesn't slide off. So it's really good at kind of staying put. So this is a great one. I applied this at seven o'clock in the morning. It is now 1.15 and I am not shiny and I have not applied powder. So love this stuff. Highly recommend it. Again, anti-aging BB cream from Hydroxetone. All right, so then some more makeup products I've been loving. I have been using Max Blunt off and on throughout this week uh, and I love it. I've been using it, I actually used it a few times this month too, prior to it being in my weekly makeup basket. I kind of cheated a little bit. Uh, it's a very, very dark blush. This is from MAC and it is a matte finish. I'm using it today as my contour and the thing I love about this is that I'm fair skinned, but I don't feel like I have to be super cautious when applying it. Uh, some bronzers, like you need to be super, super careful because if you apply too much, it's really hard to blend it out and make it look good. Where this one, I feel like if I accidentally put a little too much on my brush, it's not disastrous on my skin. So definitely very buildable. It's very pigmented, but it's very buildable and I don't have to be as careful with it. So. If you're kind of new to contouring, it looks scary because it's really dark, but I think it's one of the most easiest products to use as far as contouring. I think it's one of the easiest powders and it's 
you know, kind of foolproof. I mean, you with anything, you could apply too much, but I find I don't have any issues with applying too much with this. So Blend From MAC, really, really great. I think it's awesome if you're a beginner in learning how to contour because it's very buildable. Um, a blush I've just been so obsessed with. I just love it. It's probably getting up to be one of my favorite blushes. It's from the new MAC Glamour Days collection and it's in Small Vanity. And I've used this off and on throughout this whole month. And it's a really pretty mauve-y, um, kind of like a mauve purpley, pinkish brown, I guess. Um, there it is, swatched on my hand. I don't know. I'm getting used to this camera. So it's just really, really beautiful. Nice mauve color. It's a very natural finish. It's a really nice natural um, blush for your cheeks. It is one of those blushes that kind of goes with any look. So you can have a very dramatic eye or a very neutral eye and it just kind of ties your look together without being too bright, too pink, too red, too orange, too whatever. It's just really, really beautiful. So that is Small Vanity. So if you can get your hands on it, I recommend it a lot. Um, another thing is the CoverGirl and Olay Simply Ages Eye Corrector, and it is the uh, number 230 eye corrector, and I think I just said that. Oops. Uh, it's the yellow toned one, so it's not like their concealer, uh, but I really love this because it does have that Olay circle in it, swirl in it, which is the moisturizer, so it's really great if you have dry under eyes. It really helps to moisturize it, keep it from um, getting kind of crepey under your eyes, and it's just a really, really awesome corrector concealer if you have a problem with dark under eye circles. I don't have the dark under eye circles. I just like to have it really bright. I'm very fair skinned, so it's hard to get that Kim Kardashian bright look without like putting white under my eyes. But I find this does, you know, help with brightening it up and I've just really been enjoying that. So it is the CoverGirl Olay Corrector. Um, a primer, this one is a closed one. I've gone through so many of these Lancome La Base Pro samples. I love this primer. I would very much consider buying the full size of this primer uh, once I'm done with a lot of my sample sizes. I just really love it. It really helps my makeup stay on all day. I love the feeling of it. It's um, kind of in between like a lotiony feeling and a silicone feeling. Just really, really great. So I get about two uses per little packet. So anytime I order anything from Sephora, this is the little sample. If it's available, I pick it up because I really love it. So I know you guys have heard me mention a few times that I found a replacement for my Benefit Powder Flage. It is the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. And this is my under eye powder that I use to set my concealer. It's just a kind of like white powder. It looks like it's a little bit of an ivory shade. This is so great for setting your under eye your under eye makeup. It keeps it from uh, creping, from creasing, from moving, and it really does just kind of brighten up and just finish off that under eye area, making it look super flawless. So I highly recommend this if you're looking for a good under eye powder. It's the Secret Brightening Powder from Laura Mercier. I highly recommend it. New Holy Grail. So Laura Mercier, please do not discontinue that. I'd be very sad. Um, eye products. I have been loving my Maybelline Master Precise Eye Studio. This is the liquid liner. It has a really nice long felt tip um, line on it. I've been using it for all of my liquid eyeliner. I love it. It is very flexible, but it's really easy to get a nice wing with it um, by just laying it kind of on your eye and flicking it out. So I highly recommend that if you're looking for a good liquid eyeliner that's easy to apply and lasts all day. I've also been loving my CoverGirl Clump, oh gosh, Clump Crusher by Lash Blast. It's a really nice mascara. It has a nice curved wand. The formula is really nice. It does really separate my lashes. A little bit more of a wetter formula, so I don't find that it adds any volume, but it does add a little bit of length and does a really nice job separating, so I like that. And then I also am loving this e.l.f. makeup remover pen that my friend Kirsten sent me, um, or it's Kirsten. It's a really great one for cleaning up if your eyeshadow gets down a little too far on your eye or if you're you know, mess up on your liquid liner or your wing. Um, it's really nice at just kind of cleaning that up. So I love that. And then two brushes that I love. This is the MAC 239. It is a short shader brush. And I don't have any other brushes that are quite like this. Um, it's a very, you know, pretty stiff brush, but it's really great for packing on color. I used it today. I absolutely love it. 
Great for packing on color onto your lid. And it's a little different than like the Sigma ones. They look kind of alike, but the Sigma one is a lot more thicker and fluffier, where this one is a little bit more thinner and stiff. So I just have been absolutely loving this MAC 239. And then the Makeup Geek Round Crease Brush. I love this. This is so perfect for um, doing like your outer V. Just really gets in there. It's a pretty stiff brush. Um, but I just find it makes it really easy to kind of get that outer V and get it blended in. Or if you're doing like a cut crease, it's really nice for doing the cut crease too. So love that. And then perfume. This is Kat Von D Saint. Love this stuff. It is like the perfect winter scent. It is just kind of like a spicy, caramely, vanilla. Oh, it just smells so good. It is like such a warm, spicy scent, which is different than my like fruity, sweet scents that I usually love. Um, plus the bottle's really cool too. It has little skulls and stuff on it, but I love this. It is like the perfect fall scent. When I think of fall, this is the, the scent that comes to mind. So this is the Saint Perfume. And then some lippies that I've been loving, the lipsticks I've been just loving this month are these deep berry ones. So Rebel, is one from MAC. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful berry lipstick. Also Media from MAC. And these look so scary. This one's a little bit more of a deeper wine, like a burgundy color. And then Hang Up. Oh, I wore this yesterday, it was so beautiful. Hang Up, and this is in their permanent collection. It's just, this is limited edition packaging. That one's Hang Up. That one's a little bit more of a Actually, it's pretty similar to Media, just a little bit lighter. And then um, the other ones that I've been loving are these Tarte Glam, what are they called? Glamazon. This one's in Playful. I actually wore this a lot Thanksgiving week. And they do last all day. Just a nice kind of cranberry um, mauve -y color. And um, the other ones that I've been loving are these Revlon Colorstay Suede Lipsticks. And it's really funny because I actually got these and did not like them at first. And then I gave them a shot again and tried them out. And I think that I tend to like the darker ones. I think if you got these in the lighter formula, they're not very good. But the darker ones are. And I applied these early in the morning and they were still on my lips at like 10 or 11 o'clock at night when I washed all my makeup off. So that just kind of tells you how good these really stay. Um, the two colors I prefer the most are Muse and Couture. And I'll swatch those. Muse is like a pink. And then Couture is like a red. And the Couture one's the one that lasted forever. I have, I think, Trendsetter too. But I don't know where it's at. Um, so there they are swatched right there. So they are a glossy finish. Um, yes, they are sticky. So if you don't like sticky lipsticks or lip glosses, you probably will not like these. But I think that the sticky... Sorry, my shirt is just like driving me crazy. I think the stickiness of them is really what helps keep them on all day. And then the last makeup product I have is the... This is called Naked Dolly. And it is the um, Too Faced New Lipsticks. It's a perfect nude. It's so beautiful. Here it is right here. You can't even see it really. Oh, there you go. Uh, really pretty nude. It's a little bit more of a peachier nude. And I kind of like the pinky nudes. But I find it's very wearable. They're very silky. And I would say these are extremely comparable to the YSL, but they are like $10 cheaper. So if you have been wanting to try YSL Rouge Volat, maybe try these instead because they are, I think they feel the same. The texture is the same. The only thing you're really lacking is that smell that the YSL ones have and the packaging. But I still think these packaging, this packaging is really, really cute. So I've been loving that. My music favorites, I have been loving the new Taylor Swift album. Red, I think is the name of the album. But prefer, but specifically, the song I Knew You Were Trouble. Oh my gosh. If I could do like a, you know, some of the girls on YouTube are doing those lip dubs or dub... I don't know, where they lip sync throughout and make a video lip syncing it. That would be the one I would want to lip sync because I totally even know what I would wear singing that song and I know how I would have everything planned out. So pretty much anytime I listen to that, I'm pretending that I'm in my own music video listening to that song. So I don't know. I think it'd be fun to make a music video. 
But um, yeah, that is my November favorites. I would love to know what some of your November favorites are. And I hope you guys are having an awesome day. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.